Bloodfather stars Mel Gibson as an ex-con, ex-alcoholic who's trying to clean up his life when his estranged missing daughter shows up on his doorstep saying that she's got some serious problems. So we have a father who is just now trying to clean up his life. He has been through the emotional and physical ringer and all of a sudden his daughter is showing up with all these problems and all of this baggage. And this isn't usual father-daughter arguing. This is holy shit, an entire gang is after me and I'm going to be shot and killed and probably a lot of other things that I don't want to have happen to me. Dad, please save me. So this father is trying to protect his daughter from these horrible people. We've seen plots like this before. What elevates this movie beyond your typical B movie that you would see that's like this is Gibson. He's fantastic in this movie. He's very charismatic. He looks like a humongous bear. I've never seen him this big, muscle mass wise. He's huge in this movie, and he definitely sells this role. He has a really funny rapport with William H. Macy, who plays his sponsor, who's trying to help him get off of alcohol. There's a grizzled demeanor about his character that is so intense and so hard-edged, and Gibson really brought that. This is the best work I've seen from him in quite some time, and I hesitate to say this, but this might actually be one of the better performances I've seen in 2016. And I mean that in all honesty. The guy blew me away in this film. He's fantastic. The other thing this movie really got right was that relationship between him and his daughter. It starts out very, very rough. For a number of reasons, this girl is completely effed up and he is seeing someone so broken, possibly even more broken as a person than he is. And he just wants to find some way to be that father for her that he never was before. And it's captured so well in this movie that it's actually kind of heartbreaking at times. And it truly caught me off guard in the best of ways. Now this movie is marketed as an action movie and in some ways it is. It does feel almost kind of grindhouse like. There's a very low budget sense to this movie that works in its favor, not as a hindrance. But I would hesitate to call this an action movie. It's more of a drama with action in it. And I love that about this movie because I don't need wall to wall action for a story to work. And these characters are what made this story work. The movie started out really strong. The pacing was excellent, but then the second act, it dipped down a bit when he visits some old buddies that he's no longer friends with because these guys are like the worst of the worst of humanity. There's about a 10 to 15 minute lull in the excitement and the drama of this film where there isn't that much character building happening and there's a little bit of preaching going on that felt unnecessary, but then it picked up again in an explosive confrontation and I was like, holy shit, Gibson, uh, where have you been? Wow. There are times in this movie where he just loses his shit and goes full on Mad Max and it was riveting. After that brief lull though in the second act it picks up quite a bit for the third act. An actor I had no idea was in this movie shows up and I was really excited about that. This movie really surprised me. It is a very fun action drama with excellent performances, a very good relationship between a father and a daughter, and just a fun time at the movies. I saw this at the only theater in my area showing it in Mentor, Ohio, about 40 miles away from my house. I made the trek, they gave me that poster, Thank you to that theater. It was like stepping back in time. They had these old arcades that were 25 cents. They had all these old posters up from like seven years ago or so. It was really cool actually. I had a good time with Bloodfather. It is by no means a classic, but it is a well acted, fun, dramatic action movie with a great comeback performance from Mel Gibson. I'm gonna give Bloodfather a B plus. If it's playing in a theater near you or it's on VOD, because I'm not sure if it is, but if it is, check it out, because I don't want this movie to fly underneath people's radars. It's pretty good. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.